guys and welcome back to my channel so I actually went after I did that vlog I went to Whole Foods and bought some stuff you guys know I'm on a whole life like a whole life weight loss journey so I had changed my life and make sure I ate start eating healthier before I wasn't eating healthier and I can I can be honest about it because my channel is always about good vibe and honesty and love so um yeah I switched up I switched it all up. Um, I was shopping at Sprouts, but I decided, because Sprouts is like a far away, it's not far away, but it's like some miles away from my house, so um, Whole Foods is just like 10, 10 blocks away, you know. Um, I can actually walk to Whole Foods, and I'm probably going to start doing that, um, just to get the stomach down. Um, this is what my stomach is looking like right now. I got some Victoria's Secret underwears on pink. But this is what it's looking like. It could be better. But, um, yeah. So, let me show you what the outfit of the day is. Um, I just have this shirt, which is like an open back shirt. Um, if you can see it, an open back shirt. Um, and I got this at Walmart for $9.49 or $9.97. And then these are, um, some tight, um, Capri workout um pants and they are from old navy and then i just got some regular um dollar tree slides on i feel really comfortable in this attire hope you guys stay there stay there because i don't even have my props so i got y'all like posted up on the microwave so <laughs> so um yeah, I've been switching it up and trying to figure out what, you know, is best for me. I've been talking to my doctor. My doctor said Whole Foods would be the best choice. He knows that it's expensive. Um, but Whole Foods and Kroger's, um, it's just you have to watch your sugar and your carbs. And so, like I said, I had a breakdown where I had two bagels. I felt kind of guilty about it. But I went ahead and made it like a cheat day. So, since I cheated on, I think I cheated on Wednesday. Um, definitely not gonna make during the week my cheat days, but on like Sundays I'll make my cheat days because that's when like I go to mom's house and I make you know because she cooks and you know she's from Alabama so it's gonna be some type of soul food. But she, normally like now she's making healthy soul food and she's going to show me how to make like a fried chicken collie and stuff like that. I'm not in any way going vegan. Um. I'm going, I'm probably going to be more of pescatarian, um, and then I'll see what happens after that, but mostly I eat turkey meat, ground turkey meat, or chicken, so that's about it. I used to eat fish, but fish kind of started, like, unsettling in my stomach and started real bad, so I had to stop eating fish, um, due to, like, mercury in the fish, but anywho, you guys, as you saw before, I started washing these, and these are really, really just, they were dirty because they had just came in from um, the uh, farmer's market. So, I actually saw these at the farmer's market. And we were going to take a trip, yes, to the farmer's market. Me, oh, wait, 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 hold up. Me and you, we're going to take a trip to the farmer's market. And we're going to go and I'm going to be vlogging there. I'm going to have so much fun. I just want to go see like a, I want to go buy a couple of things and then see their boho um, section and take some pictures there while I'm there. So yeah. Um, but anyways, I bought I saw these at the farmers market and at Whole Foods it was a little bit expensive. But at farmers market you can kind of talk them out of the price if you know what you don't want. <laughs> if you know how to say your coins, girl. I know you know how to say your coins, sis. But um yeah, I got some of these and So, um, I had to take a quick Instagram picture, but, um, I got some of these and they're freshly washed, so I'm ready to, like, dive in and taste them. They're so juicy. What I remember, you know, because I haven't been to a farmer's market in a minute, but what these are just what I remember nice sweet tense um very very crunchy but soft in the inside crunchy on the outside it's really really good so 
me tell you the name of them. I just lost one in the dream, but um, these are called Hungry Hollow Vine Ripen Organic Tomatoes. And I just lost another one. <laughs> um, but for the price at Whole Food and how many you get, um, I can say that I would definitely go with Whole Food. But um, like I say, if you go to the farmer's market, you can definitely talk them into like adding more for the price or, you know, Next thing that I bought was these uh, organic tacos, which comes on a wheat shell. Um, I got one without a wheat shell, so I can cut it in half. Um, or tortilla, um, I got, uh, I cut one in half, and I put one on each. Um, this is just like sauteed onions, bell peppers. It did have like uh, reduced fat black beans in there, but mom decided she wanted some, so she grabbed her some. And then I wanted to try tofu eggs, so I definitely went ahead and got like some, it, it don't look appealing, but it tastes really good if you put like salt and pepper on it. Um, but um, I got some tofu eggs, some, um, some baked potatoes, and bell peppers, and then this, this is just the half, ro half little tortilla that I cut up and put right there. I'm probably going to have that for lunch, um, not lunch, but breakfast in the morning. And I'm probably going to work on this like a little bit later um, because their food is good. Like if you don't eat it right then there, it's so good because the flavor and the seasonings all mixed up in that thing. Yes, all mixed up in that thing. So um, like I say, um, you can put seasoning in here, whatever kind of seasoning you like. Um, but I just like to eat it like that or I just, if I need some salt and pepper, I'll just sprinkle just, I'll get just this much of salt just this much a pinch not even a pinch just a little bit and sprinkle it on there if i don't have my sea salt then i'll just you know but i love pepper so i go wacky crazy on that pepper okay um so i got i found oh i found some of these muffins and i'm gonna say this these are really big like they're they are bigger than um these are made from whole flour and they have pecans, like real pecans. And this is right here is the, um, I forget what the name of it. It's like a pecan muffin. Um, so, pecan muffin. So, um, I don't know how you say it, but here in Texas we just say pecan. But some people say pecan. Um, but, anywho, you know, whatever you like to say, whatever you like to say, I'm, I'm with it. I'm, I got your back, okay? Um, but, yeah, um, so this is a pecan muffin. And it just has pecans like all in it. And it just looks so great. It smells good. You want to smell it? it? Smells great. And I will say this, and I'm not bashing sprouts, but their whole food muffins are bomb. Like they are bigger in size. And this can be like one of those uh those top muffins. You just cut that below and share it with somebody. And um, or you can cut it in the middle, split it, and you know be healthy while doing it um but i'm not gonna eat the whole muffin i'm just gonna cut it in half and put a little of my smart balance butter on there um i didn't think i showed you guys but these are my smart balance butters i've been sticking with these i've been sticking with these i love it to me it tastes like a lighter more like more better butter like it tastes more soft more like the flavor of it it's like i'm not saying it's like a strong flavor i'm just saying it's like like the the flavor of the, the flavor of butter this tastes 10 times better than you know that and it spreads easily it melts quickly and i love it but i had to go and buy a huge one because i know that this was running out so I just definitely went ahead and bought one of these. So next time I'm gonna save this and I'm just gonna buy like two or three of these and just dump them in there and you know make it do what it does. So let me put this up. So next thing that I bought were these beautiful lines with all vegetables because when you shop at Whole Foods tips 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 um wash everything that you buy from Whole Foods because everything from Whole Foods comes from farmers market um so 
naturally don't don't they the farmers market did not wash it to send it to Whole Foods and Whole Foods does not wash it either. So definitely when it comes from farmers market, it's just coming from the person that they're vending with and to Whole Foods. And like I said, these those tomatoes was like really dirty. Um, so that's why I washed them because they. But anything that is produce from Whole Foods, vegetables, uh, fruits. Salads, wash, 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 because you know it, they have like parasites, they have like bugs and stuff. And if it's coming straight from the ground to the farmers market, they didn't wash it. And then from farmers market to Whole Foods, then it's like most likely if you buy it, you're gonna get a bug or something in your food. So you guys be safe, be cautious, because I know like several stores in Texas has found parasites in their salads. So I'm like, man, I'm, I'm thinking about actually growing me a um, garden or something, like a mini garden, and just eating off my own garden because right now it's just too much going on with stuff in the stores, and it's scaring me because I have a five-year-old son, and not only that, I have a five-year-old son, I have family too, and I have myself. So, you know, uh, just the other day, just a quick note, uh, I just want to let you guys know. But um, I, I hope you guys are enjoying this vlog in this haul that I have here. But yes, um, the other day I was going to go to Chipotle and get me some, you know, cilantro long rice, some black beans, a little bit of salad, and, you know, have a good time and eat and eat there. But it's like the next day, like I decided to go, but this is when I had the free avocado, the free guacamole, the free rock from off their app. But my store didn't have like the app thing or whatever. So I had went in and asked them. And they was like, we'll honor it since we don't have the whole delivery and pickup thing. So, but the line was super packed. Like, it was super packed in there. And it was just too hot. I'm one of those people, I'm claustrophobic. I cannot be shut into anything. I barely like elevators. So, um, I came back home and I was like, I'm going to make my own little bowl or whatever. So I just had some rice, some black beans, the same thing I was going to have at Chipotle. So upon the night, I saw on the news that Chipotle had like some type of salmonella or parasites in their food, in their salad or something like that. And I was just like, hell to the no, hell no, uh -uh. to the no, no. Uh -uh. So girl, I was just like, I was just there earlier. So I'm so thankful that, you know, I saw all those people there and I just turn around and be like, I'm so thankful for my class of openness because a girl like me was not going to stay there. And I'm so glad that they said that that night. So now I'm really not going to go to Chipotle. I'm not even trying to like, this would have been the first time I have ate out in a long time. But just a little information, you guys, you can fix the same thing, copycat it, Pinterest. Instagram have copycats of Chipotle stuff and you can copycat it, have it at your home, have your own safe meal, have your own cook meal. You don't have to worry about nobody putting nothing in your food or having nothing in your food. You can be safe, keep your family safe, keep yourself safe, and you know, you'll have a healthy, healthy life. Um, so anywho, I got these limes. <laughs> Um, really the main thing was like wash everything before you eat it, watch what you eat out, basically. <laughs> so I got these pretty limes, and that's gonna go on some chicken, girl. Yes, some um Cuban chicken, because I want to make some Cuban chicken. Um, and then I found these cute little um snack packs with hummus, one with roasted red peppers, and then one just original. I love hummus and it's like my favorite. Um, so, but mom is going to eat this one. No, no, no. I am going to eat. No, no, no. Let's get this right. Mom is going to eat this one <laughs> and I'm going to eat the red bell peppers because I love red bell peppers. I just love them. So, I bought two of those and then I bought my son from 365 every day some cheddar cheese curls. And these are so good because I had these before and I don't think I shared, shared, uh, shared it with him. This is when I wasn't even caring about my weight and I ate the whole bag. The whole bag is like 140 calories and you're only supposed to eat like 32. Half of that 140 calories would be that's 32 curls of uh, curls, <laughs> chips. Um, and it'll lessen the calories. So, um, 
I used to eat like a whole bag of these. And I just, now that I look at it, it's like I can share my son and I can be healthy. So, yes. Okay. So, I bought some oranges. And I bought some cilantro, the real cilantro. Um, cilantro. And then I bought some of the seasoned cooking, uh, organic seasoned cilantro leaves. And I bought cilantro because sometimes I can eat cilantro as a salad. I just put some light ranch on it. And I wash it really good, put some light ranch on it, put those tomatoes in there, and you have yourself a nice salad. Um, a lot of people don't like cilantro, but I love it. Um, and to me, it's like an energizer. Like, it it energizes my body, and it makes me feel, like, after I eat it, I feel so freaking good. So, if you're not a cilantro fan, definitely go ahead and even just try one leaf. It wouldn't hurt. Um, because I used to, before cilantro, I used to didn't like cilantro, to be honest. And I tried it one day, and I was just like, this is good. It don't even really have a taste to it. Have like a, the taste really is like a lime taste or a lemon taste. So, I just encourage you guys to eat more greens. And that's why I got, like, the dry kind for, like, my food. And then the wet, the, um, I call it the wet kind, the wet leaves for my salad, um, because I love cilantro leaves and everything. Like, to be honest, I do. Um, then I got some of this organic, 365 day organic whole food, um, whole milk yogurt. And these are for AJJ. Um, I got him the blueberry whole milk and I got him the strawberry whole milk. And these are both 365 day. If you're wondering, then she's buying 300, 365 day for me. Um, that brand is Whole Foods brand, and it's more cheaper than uh, your regular brand of yogurt. So that's why I stick to 365 um, because it is more cheaper to buy it that way. And then I bought AJJ. I just want to test him out on some milk, uh, some milks, um, just to see which ones he like. I know he likes the chocolate one, but I want to test and see. I'm trying to get him off the whole milk because he says it makes his stomach hurt a lot. So, I went from 2% milk to, well, this is 2% milk. I went from the whole milk to, I tried 1% milk. He wasn't having it. So, we were trying the 2% milk. And this is a 2% milk fat, reduced fat milk. And this is 38% less fat than whole milk. And it has vitamin A and D, grade A, pasteurized, and um, um, it's one pint of milk. And this is the 365-day milk. If you, if you are like lactose intolerant and stuff like that, you can drink 2% milk and 2% milk won't hurt your stomach. Uh, you can drink 1% milk. I started uh, from soy milk to 1% milk and I've been great. And my stomach hasn't been hurting anything and I'm lactose intolerant. So my stomach has not been bugging or anything like that. And I've been taking like my multivitamins and stuff like that too as well. I take uh, raspberry ketones and I take a... Um, What's it? I bought I bought my my multivitamin supplements out for Amazon, so they are all like vegan or organic um, type of pills, and they don't hurt me or anything, they don't harm anything. They just give me more energy, and I just really really like it. As you can tell now, I took my multivitamins, so I'm very energetic right now. Like I feel like I can just run around a block, you know, just one block. <laughs> um, and then. I bought, let's see, I don't think I got anything else. I think this is the last thing. I bought some chicken. And this is not the normal chicken that I buy. I just kind of wanted to check this chicken out and see how um, it tastes or whatever. Um, so, so I bought this chicken. And then it had a coupon on there. It says save 50 cent per pound. So, this chicken looks so super fresh, and I can't wait to try it out. But the one that I buy is 365. I just kind of want to try something different. I love the 365 every day, whole food brand, but I just kind of wanted to splurge just a bit. And then I saw this coupon. So, I want to tell all you guys out there that think that whole food is, like, really expensive. Like, I used to think whole food was expensive. Some things in whole foods are expensive. 
but you just have to look around for deals and sales. You have to download their app for coupon codes and stuff like that. When once you um go into Whole Foods, before you go into the doors, look on the side. It's sometimes it's on the left hand side. There they have coupon packs. Grab your coupon pack, go in there, sit down, have yourself a cup of coffee or a smoothie, and check out the coupon pack. Check out their their sales flyer, their um flyer and everything. And know what you're doing when you get there, because that's one type of person I am. I like to sit and enjoy like a cup of coffee from Whole Foods. Check out the coupon packet. Uh, check out the website, the app, to see if they have coupon codes that match the same code. If they do, they they will honor it, both coupon codes. So, yeah. And in their chicken and meat department, you're gonna find stuff just like this. Fifty fifty cents off on your chicken, and I paid. Let's see. The original price of my chicken that I paid for was $12, and then because I go to host food sometimes and just eat there, um, one of the ladies, she knows me, so she gave me off, like she gave me off, uh, she gave me $10 off, $10 off, so that was $1.50, I only paid $1.50 for this chicken, so I was really excited because just to know people in Whole Foods and to know that they come to my restaurant and establishment and you can always do things like that too. If you work for a restaurant or if you're a manager of a restaurant or sometimes I borrow stuff from Whole Foods. Sometimes Whole Foods borrows stuff from me, you know, because we have, you know, napkins and stuff. They might be running out or something like that. But, you know, um, sometimes we, you know, we do those things, you know. But I'm not going into a store each and every time because I know a person looking for like a freebie or something like that. And I know some people may be like that. But I'm not like that. If they decide they want to give me a discount, girl, I'm taking it. You know what I mean? But I'm not expecting it each and every time. So you just have to be mindful sometimes. You have to get to know people sometimes. Um, me, personally, I'm one of those anti-social people. So um, when I get to know somebody, it's like, okay, cool, you know? Because I'm very anti-social. I want, like, yeah, I want to show y'all this because I, I want y'all to see this. Uh, and I'm not trying to be nasty or anything like that. <laughs> but you remember I bought these, I brought those bras from the, like the family dollar store. And look at this bra. Oh my gosh. It just like, it makes my bust like a large, like not larger, but it makes it look smaller than before. And like, I just can't get enough of how it shapes my bosom. And like, there's no fat coming out. <laughs> I mean, you can see the deodorant under there but like there's I can cover up my fat like for real though some of it <laughs> but in the front like I used to have fat bulges coming out like I've really been doing good with my whole weight loss journey I'm so happy you guys are sticking around y'all there for me um and I really appreciate each and every one of you guys and I love you guys so much I love y'all like family y'all are my family so <laughs> With that being said, you know what I'm about to say. Have you subscribed? If you're a new subscriber, thank you so much. I'm Andrea Michelle. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm so glad you're here. And we love you. We love you. We love you. And have you thumbs up? Have you watched this, girl? I know you watched this vlog all the way to the end. Because if you didn't, you still wouldn't be here. So I'm so happy that you decided to stick around. Because it helps our channel out so, so, so much. And you guys, I think I'm going to do a giveaway. I, I want to do a giveaway on this channel really, really soon. And when I say really soon, it's going to be ASAP. I want to give a, a giveaway on a Whole Foods. Some from Whole Foods. A gift card from Whole Foods. A $50 gift card from Whole Foods. So... I gotta get that, get that, I was like, get that shit in order, but I, but I gotta get that in order so I can do a giveaway, and um, I'm just really excited in how God has blessed me, and this channel has grown, like, it's growing, like, I'm really excited, I get emotional sometimes when I'm looking at, like, the views, when I'm looking at, like, how many subscribers I got, um, from, I, I, I was stuck one, like, stuck like almost a whole six months and 38 subscribers like a minute ago and I, I just I was telling myself I can't do this no more 
When you say you can't do it, believe me, trust me, you can do it. You will do it. God is not going to let you fail. If you fail, it's because you fail. You didn't listen to God. So I was in that, I was stuck in that situation and God brought me out of there and look where I'm at right now. And I feel so good. I'm almost at 150 subscribers. I'm trying to get to 500 subscribers by December, you guys. So help your sister out because it is much needed. Um, and anywho, AJJ, my son, he's in the back playing with his toys, looking at cartoons. And yeah, you guys, I love you so much. And I'll definitely see you guys tomorrow. Bye.